it's Michaela Bowen. They look at me just as a typical 15 year old female in ripped jeans, a black shirt, and Birkenstocks, clutching my phone. Though I make light of them, I'm serious about my ambitions and very aware that I am trying to make history. History, in fact, is all around us. I race at Riverside Speedway in Groveton, New Hampshire. Also known as Speedway 51 when I first started. I will also be making a couple appearances at Thunder Road this season. I started racing at 13 years old in the Daredevil division. I feel like when I started racing, I was racing boys. And no little boy wanted to get beat by a little girl. I felt like that was a huge thing then. But as I move up, I feel more people just have this respect thing. You have to have respect for each other. But I feel some guys just don't respect women. No guy wants to get beat by a girl. And when it comes down to it, in my mind, it pushes me harder. I think we drive harder. When I beat 38 to 42 year old guys out there, to me, that's much better than a 38 year old girl, as it's supposed to be a male dominated sport. It all started when my dad, Edward Bowen, started racing at Thunder Road in Barry, Vermont. I would watch my dad from the bottom step of the benches right in front of the start-finish line. I grew more and more into the sport by watching him then helping him build race cars. He watches me do it. Being a woman who loves racing means constantly being questioned and second-guessed. The round of questioning a woman is subjected to feels more like an interrogation than a friendly conversation. When I get asked how I got into racing, it's because I need to prove my worth as a longtime fan and not just as some silly girl who decided to show up to a race one day. My biggest weakness is the outside line. Because you have to know where your groove is when and how much you have to lift and then where to get back on the throttle. The finance is the biggest struggle for young drivers and more specifically women coming into the sport. I like the adrenaline rush I get before the green flag flies. I also like helping my dad work on the race car. It gives me motivation and inspiration. It feels very unpleasant. They just think of a model next to a race car. And all I do is get stared at, and that's not how I want to feel. A time I failed, and I know I failed, was one of my first few races with Formula 4s. I was starting second on the outside. And I got the green flag, and I sent it a little too high into turn one. I got scared to the point where I let everyone else pass me. And instantly, I knew I disappointed myself and my dad.
My greatest strength is my positive mindset, at the track or in my car. Another big strength of mine is the knowledge about my car and what my car can handle. Every weekend at the track is fun. That's my place to go to get everything off my mind. I have a lot of fun with my family and friends, and that's where I make the best memories. And getting in my race suit and hopping in my race car makes my whole racing experience 10 times more fun. When people show up with intentions to make me fail. I also hate when I finish last. my car. A difficult decision I've made within the past few years was learning a new car every year. Concentrating on what's in front of me and on the outside of me. Behind me doesn't matter. Other times, I'm in the zone and forget the world outside of my race car. one piece of advice it would be to know and feel the track make sure you know your lines and when to lift and when to get back on the throttle even if you're not winning you're out there to have fun you're out there for yourself and your fans
I would like to get my name out to the community and in other states. I would also like to go up in a higher class of racing so I can show my passion and race with the group. The miracle isn't that I finished. The miracle is I had the courage to start.